Hey everyone, how are you all doing? If you leave that like right now, that would help you and me out a lot. And thank you so much. Yesterday, we had a huge stream with a peak of 700 viewers and I'm really, really grateful for that. So I want to thank you. But today, we are gonna be talking about something specific. There is a lot of questions unanswered about the EA investor call. And there is still a lot of the confusion to what is true and what is not true. Yes, new info came out, so let's dive deeper. What I ask of you is to fully watch the video so you can understand what is going on. This is what is talked about right now in the Battlefield community. We're looking forward to sharing a lot more about the fiscal 22 plans in the months ahead, including our next Battlefield experience, which will mark a return to all-out military warfare. This basically confirms it's gonna be modern gen, right? Well, maybe. The game takes full advantage of the power of next generation platforms to bring massive immersive battles to life with more players than ever before. Featuring maps with unprecedented scale, the next edition of Battlefield takes all the destruction, player agency, vehicle and weapon combat that the franchise is known for and elevate it to another level. The team is focused and the game is ahead of our internal milestones. Yes, this is what most people are talking about, but they're not talking about a lot of other things mentioned in this interview. I think this is great. This basically confirms the leaks I've been talking about. The new team being ahead and the new team being hired. We're also going to be seeing an upgrade in all the vehicles, player levels, and I'm guessing weapons. Weapons is the huge emphasis with more customizations is something I'm really, really excited about. A lot of these leaks that are happening actually accumulate over time and you can actually see them confirming in this interview. They will also bring massive immersive battles to life with more players than ever before, which basically means that the 128th player leak we got might be actually real here. Now, what's very important and what got me really excited about is the destruction. It takes all the destruction to the next level. This could mean that the vehicles are more destructible or they're more parts destructible. And this is what I'm hyped about. They also said that they're very excited to share team is focused and the game is ahead of its internal milestones no i don't think we will get a game early although there is a slight chance as they said the game will be revealed in spring however the teasing might start pretty much sooner first we get the name reveal then we get a teaser reveal and then we get the gameplay reveal i'm really excited about to break down on this channel this is something that everyone missed and it is gonna be completely new to the battlefield franchise you ready player agency. Player agency is something that we've never seen before. Sure, we've seen some evolution, but what if you can call your squad of AI bots to the game? Or you can call in an airstrike on a large, large scale. There are so many possibilities that have never been done before, and it's time now. It's time, Battlefield. It's time, DICE, to actually put player agency to a full level where you can destroy that building by yourself. Now, what's important to note here, they didn't neither deny or confirm if we're gonna be seeing Vietnam, but based off that an all-out military warfare has a larger player agency so you have more control over your character with a lot more gadget it's very likely possible that we're getting something like battlefield 3 or 4 where it's in modern gen in our discord channel we have been discussing such things and we concluded that this could be happening in 2030 based on what we are seeing so no no shooting robots with laser eyes yet but maybe in the future we will see something new now there was a lot of confusion if he said that they will reveal something in the following months or in the following month and to actually our surprise it was in the following month we're not sure what it is yet though i'll definitely report on that but hopefully we will get more info in early march because i really 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 would like to hear what they have planned for us i am hoping it's at least some sort of a reveal there is something you might have missed unless you watch the full stream so let me tell you what it is if battlefield 6 is free to play or not not. This actually tells you a lot and they didn't neither confirm or deny that basically we do not know and it could be that Battlefield 6 is most likely paid. So in my eyes Battlefield 6 Battle Royale is right now scrapped and the focus of the game is on multiplayer and massive scale all out war and battles. I'm pretty sure here if I say that most of people right now want Battlefield 6 to be like Battlefield 3 and 4 combined and not another Battle Royale. But hey, I would love a Battle Royale in my eyes and I'm open to any ideas 
DICE and EA has for us. They did say the game is coming out in spring of 2021, which basically means it's not delayed or whatever, but we already all knew that based on the leaks we were seeing that the game is progressing very, very well and hopefully on launch we will be seeing some pretty cool stuff. So I know you expected more information about Battlefield 6, but we actually got a lot. Now, the reason why they didn't want to reveal a lot of stuff is because a lot of this is for the investors. A lot of this is how investors want to see this. They don't want the gameplay or information about the game. They simply want how the games are progressing and the numbers. Before we get back into that, one important thing a lot of people didn't know and you have to take some research to know this, so I really don't blame you or anything. Battlefield 6 actually tweeted community, we want more Battlefield 6 news and me basically Matrix dodging bullets. Now a lot of people think this is confirmed that the name is Battlefield 6, but that's not actually true because someone posted it's not 100% that Battlefield 6 is the actual name for the next game. And you know who'd like that tweet? Battlefield's Twitter page. And this could mean that potentially that it's not confirmed and Battlefield 6 is actually just a code name. Because a code name is much better than a name reveal, which could reveal where it's set, how is it looking like, and if it's a battle royale or not. And hopefully you really need to do some digging and research for such small pieces of content to actually discover more. They did tell us a bit more in numbers actually. So this is what they said. We hit a new rector and trailing 12 month operating cash flow of 2.6 billion. That is actually a lot of money. Quarter was very close to our record for quarterly cash flow, which we delivered back in quarter three fiscal 2017 with the help of Battlefield 1. So Battlefield 1 is what made them a lot of money. Now, needless to say, we're excited about the potential for the next Battlefield game in the quarter three of next fiscal year, which could mean that this game is all out. It means that we're actually getting Battlefield as the top A a a game like this is this basically means that they said we are putting all our efforts all our chips into battlefield going all in on this and that is why i'm really really excited on how this will combat call of duty now what does it mean that the game is getting on a great development team it could potentially mean that the game is releasing without any bugs without any rush and with all the content delivered without any patches we saw before this is actually pretty great news. Now, this really caught my eye. They're way ahead of where they were in product, prior product cycles on track for their earliest feature compete in franchise history. So this means this game is being developed better and more than any other game before. It's being worked on more and more so they can add more content, I'm guessing. And most of the stuff that's being talked about is only surface level. So you really have to be in the stream to understand or simply watching this video. Now, the Q&A is really something that's missed a lot about in the Battlefield community. And that is the questions. Great. Thanks for the question. I just have to first just on Battlefield with first person shooters using free to play mode to expand the top funnel. Could you talk a little bit about your ambition to do something like that with Battlefield? He also asked about the roadmap, which is a very important question. Now they didn't neither confirm neither deny any of the questions about free to play and we don't have anything more to share with you at this point for free to play basically. But it's gonna usher for a new generation for Battlefield games and Battlefield fans and we'll be taking benefiting from full power of the next generation platforms which is something we've been already hearing before. But more on that to come in the month ahead and we're excited to share more on that at appropriate time. So it could be very much that we're getting something in the month of February or in March. So that could mean in the month ahead in March as well. But what's very important to note here, they also talked about some financial stuff for Battlefield 6 that you really wouldn't be interested in. So I'm gonna leave this open. What do you think about this? A lot of stuff you have missed out on and everything about the new EA. I think I have a lot of more videos to make on this, so be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you coming to my stream.